Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us on the call today. So I'm going to start off by introducing Dr. Kurt Fisnick. For those of you who have already met him, I'm sure you were delighted to meet him. And he was recently in Australia touring around the country. He went to all the major cities doing talks on age reversal slash anti-aging. And they were fascinating talks. So Kurt, is his main interest is age reversal and age reversal healthcare. He's a certified wellness consultant and he's America's top chiropractor in 2004. He's who's who American young professional. He's also who's who young Americans. So he had a private practice previously in 1988 to actually present and uh, he's very passionate about um, age reversal. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Kurt. Well, thank you, Katie, and, and uh, everyone, thanks for uh, joining us tonight on a, on a Friday evening. Um, it's uh, beautiful weather out here, and, and I'm excited to be part of, of what we're doing, part of this whole thing. You know, when we look at, at age reversal and anti-aging, it's just an exciting field. I was uh, at the gym working out today, and, and while I was sitting there, I was watching the Dr. Oz show, and the entire show was talking about anti-aging. Uh, and, and, and so we're in at the right time. They were talking about not just uh, the appearance of aging, although um, uh, uh, a main part of the, of the show was uh, on, on skincare. And then they spent uh, a while talking to a couple of experts in the field, uh, Deepak Chopra, and they were talking about how the immune system is, is so important with, uh, with anti-aging and, and and how important it is to to keep your immune system working properly, and 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 that's one of the things that that uh, um, you hear me talking about when I'm going around the the country talking. When I was down in in Australia talking, um, I talked about about that and uh, and how we can keep the the immune system um, from going into senescence, which basically is um, going to sleep. The immune system going to sleep, and how you can wake that up. And uh, we talked about how the age pill um, really is, is one of the, the key um, new things that we can use to um, go after uh, eight of the, of the 10 or 11 different, uh, different things that cause aging. The, the age pill actually uh, identifies and, and helps to support uh, eight of the 11 different uh, things that cause aging. And then when you combine it with, with resveratrol, when you combine it with uh, the, the 74 minerals that are found in Spectrumac, when you combine it with Super Omega Plus, when you combine it with the, the Fucoidin, the amazing powers of Fucoidin that are, that are uh, necessary for keeping the immune system working properly. And then you, you take and you combine it with the four restore brain vitality. All these things just work together to make your body so not only does it support the system, but it actually can help to go back and repair some of that. And then, um, you know, one of the, one of the things that, that I'm reading everywhere now is talking about intermittent fasting and, and how this is so important with keeping the uh, immune system strong and keeping the body kind of in check. Um, before we bring uh, Tom Maurer on, I just really wanted to uh, go quickly to uh, a friend of mine, a colleague of mine who recently opened up a stem cell clinic and uh, the stem cells really are the future of medicine. And, uh, and, uh, and, and up in Michigan, where they started doing stem cells, they're, they're finding that uh, people who are on the age pill actually respond faster and better uh, to, the, to the stem cell injection. So um, I've, I've got you unmuted there, uh, Dr. Kim. If you want to just quickly give a word, I know you got to get to another meeting, but if you could just kind of quickly give a word, and then we'll hand the mic on over to Tom Mullen. Great, great. Thanks, Kirk. Um, yeah, I've just got a few minutes here, but uh, yeah, we just started our our uh, stem cell uh, operation, and uh, we hope to be doing a lot, but I, and doing a lot of research in the in this into stem cell. You know, the key for for success with stem cell is a process called engraftment, where the the, the in, introduced or transplanted stem cells will kind of hook onto the underlying tissue wherever you put them and then turn into that, that tissue and differentiate into that, that tissue. And I, I just started finding a lot of research involving, you know, glycation and lipofusion and, and uh, how even things like the resveratrol will, will help the, uh, 
the uh, engraftment of the of the stem cell. And we have a very small sampling at this point because we just got started. But so far, the people that were on the age pill, which was about half of the people, maybe a little less than half the people that we started with, they seem to be doing much better, much quicker than the ones that weren't. So um, I hope to really be able to flesh this out as we go because I think, you know, the stem cell, stem cell uh, uh, transplants are becoming um, – more widely known and they offer so much promise for people who are, you know, hurting and suffering from all, all sorts of different maladies. You know, primarily you're going to see things like knee pain, shoulder pain, but uh, you, you can do so much more, but gosh, if we can, if we can accelerate the whole process by utilizing the products that we have in our armamentarium, we're going to go a long way towards helping a lot more people. Um, gain success from their stem cell transplants, and even though, and of course, even the ones that don't get the stem cell transplants are going to do better by using our products. You bet. Well, thanks, Dr. Kim. I know that that stem cells are uh, main focus that you and Dr. Z are working on, and so I'll let you get back to your other meeting. And and Tom, I see that you're on the call. Tom Maurer, uh, what an exciting time for you. I mean, here we are. Uh, anti-aging it's everywhere I was just watching Dr. Oz while I was at the gym today and I mean he had Dr. Deepak Chopra on there talking about his immune senescence and uh, another fellow that was talking about his book on, on boosting the immune system and then they spent a half hour talking about how to make the skin look younger and and uh, and they had some people on there that really I mean in my in my opinion they were they were really uh, trying to sell some inferior products but we won't get into that now um, but, but Tom, you know, when, when you take a look at the age film and what it's doing for the anti-aging market and what you're seeing, holy cow, I'm going to hand it over to you and just kind of give you uh, as much time as you want to talk about the whole field and where it's going. Okay. Well, uh, thanks. I really appreciate that. I'm looking forward to, uh, to re helping people so they can understand this a lot better than what, um, uh, they really have been able to because uh, in the world of anti-aging and life extension, uh, it's been progressing uh, on for a long time. But the problem uh, lies in the fact that um, things are changing so rapidly. In fact, as I went in yesterday and I was talking with um, a, a head of a big clinic in stem cells, and he's interested very much into, uh, he, they have a chain of them and things like this. And so, um, what what happens is that I, I've shown him him some things uh, just recently, um, and and with that, I showed him something about stem cells that were going into um, dental and into teeth, and what they were doing is they had. And it's really quite a remarkable video. I posted on Facebook uh, yesterday or the day before, and they go in and when you think about having a root canal, it's very harmful and very hurtful. And in the root canal, they're able to put stem cells in it. And so the, the, the pulp that's within the, the tooth itself, uh, when you do a root canal, you remove all the pulp. And so therefore the tooth does not uh, keep rebuilding itself with dentin. And uh, this dentin that uh, is in uh, the, the teeth is what really keeps it enameled up. Then they do that, and they, of course they put a cap on it, but those teeth over a period of time are never the same because they're diminishing. But now what they do with it, they injected stem cells into it, and it goes back and it starts to uh, re-enamel itself. It produces dentin again, and it repairs the internal damage of the cell uh, because all these cell stem, stem cells are doing it. Now that's really astonishing. That's just fairly new that they've come out that they're even doing dental work with it. And so when you consider the evolving nature of this industry, that which we knew five years ago um, was less than half of what, it, what we know today, a lot less in the stem cell area. In the world of biochemistry, about every five years, um, the total knowledge of the world doubles. But in stem cells, it's, it's gone much more than that because five years ago, <clears throat> to think of stem cell <clears throat> excuse me, regeneration, 
was the fairy tale. I mean, yeah, they talked about some things that they could clone Dolly the sheep and all that type of thing. But for the types of things they could do with an older body, uh, it was the fountain of youth was uh, still just a mythical water. And now with where we're at today, I say the fountain of youth uh, was always a myth that was conceived to be this magical water, mythical water uh, that would make you young again. Well, uh, the fountain of youth has been found and it's not the water, it's a real molecule. And this molecule, along with other things within which it does, can do extraordinary things. And that which was uh, science fiction, uh, a myth, folklore, is now reality. And so with that, you now have ability to, no matter what stage you are in life, you have a chance to seriously uh, not just slow it down. As at first, it was the anti-aging products are out. And then to perhaps halt it, which is p very positive. And then uh, as things come on, and then telomeres came on, and you can rebuild telomeres. And telomeres can mean that your cells can duplicate more times with that. But the limiting factor was that while you had more uh, cycles that a stem cell could go through to produce new cells, most stem cells are badly damaged by the time they get to that age. And uh, so they're producing at a very at a lower rate. So now if you're rewinding, uh, th just think of this concept. If telomeres uh, are the indicator of what our lifespan is, and we have TSX to do that, then they can duplicate more revolutions. But if the stem cells are working at 25, 30, 40, 50% of what they were when you were younger, yeah, you're going to probably stay about where you're at, but you're going to live a lot longer. That's the theory behind this. this. And they found with, with telomere rebuilding, that uh, that happened in all animal models with it. But along comes something like resveratrol, like uh, what Doc Fist was talking about uh, with that. That was a major breakthrough because they found out how the genes of youth were actually uh, activated again. And, and with doing that type of thing, they had a tremendous effect on people. And with that, at first on, on animals and the difference between a mouse and a man and an elephant and all that in some basic things are exactly the same. Um, in fact, it's like a rhesus monkey. It has 97% of the chromosomes that an average human being has. Ironically enough, it's almost the exact match with Doc Fizz, but it's 97% of the rest of us have the same uh, chromosomes. Exactly. So if we have that, uh, you can start to test something on the smallest type of mammal, and it goes on. But stem cells go beyond that. Uh, stem cells is what makes uh, one of the things that makes the redwood trees grow so big. The sequoia, the longest, the giants of the forest, living thousands and thousands of years. Yes, they have telomere units, and it works the same uh, in doing it. And so you go back into the plant world and then you come into the animal world and, and it works within uh, fish or insects or uh, reptiles, anything like that. And you get into mammals, of course, uh, the, the sequence is the, it's the same type of, of situation, except they're more t specific towards mammals. And as you go through from what's in, a, in some things, what works in a mouse doesn't work in a man, so to speak. But in this case, it's dead on with any species of life form uh, in the animal world, and especially in the mammal world, they've been testing. So now we're, we're at an area of where we can say, okay, we can rewind the telomeres. And think of this like it was a little uh, balsam airplane. Uh, when I was a boy, they made uh, airplanes out of balsam. Uh, they're very light wood. And so they, you could throw them and they, would, they had the right angle on the wings and they would glide for a long ways. Then if you wanted to get one with a propeller on it, you get a propeller and inside the body of the plane was a rubber band. And so if you twisted the propeller, the band started twisting too and it was collecting that energy uh, that you were putting into it. And so when you threw it, now the propeller started turning as the band would be unraveling, releasing that energy. And the plane flew faster and flew further, but eventually, uh, the tension was out of the band, it stopped doing it, and the plane would glide in and, and then land or hit the ground. 
when you're doing it. But suppose you had that premise that you could rewind that band, and so it would go, in theory, if you could rewind it as fast as it was unwinding, that plane, if it didn't hit anything, had good direction, it could go on virtually uh, forever, so to speak. Uh, and, and so it's the same thing within our cells of our body, they found, is they, they, re they got three Nobel Prizes out of the discovery of telomeres and what they could do. It was, uh, and that's just recent that was done. So now if you rewind your telomeres, uh, that means you have a car that isn't running. And let's say you had a car that wasn't running. So I'm trying to give some comparisons here. You had a car that wasn't running so well, uh, but if you could maintain it at that, so it never broke down, it never got any older, then it could run on and on and on to when, far beyond to when you would junk it and, and uh, get yourself a new one. But now this, uh, the science has evolved to where you can overhaul an engine in a car, can't you? And uh, stem cells are, are like an engine, they're like a factory. They take in nutrients, they take in oxygen, they take in a fuel source, uh, glucose. Uh, and out of that, they produce something. They either make new cells, stem cells make new cells, which they in turn could make things like uh, hormones or proteins or uh, even, uh, you know, the calcium building in the bones, all of those things. So there's so many different types of categories of stem cells in our body. Our toenails and fingernails are all grown by stem cells that are specific to that. Hair is different, but it's all, all the cells are, are basically differentiated for what they can do, but the uniform way they act is the same. They have telomeres, and as telomeres get shorter, it uh, the duplication rate goes down, and eventually a disease kicks in that can kill you. And it's not that you don't die of a disease, or excuse me, you don't die of old age, you die of a disease. Something that kicks in that uh, because your body has decayed and degenerated. That's what aging is, decay and degeneration. So since it's done that, uh, then there reaches a point where you're vulnerable to some type of disease. It can be something like uh, diabetes. And what's the cause of diabetes, type 1 or type 2? Well, there's variations on that. Overweight's one thing that will contribute to it. But there's a lot of other things, too, that are non-genetic diseases, but your body becomes vulnerable to them. And so when you die at 75 to 80 years old, which is about where the average lifespan is for the people that made it uh, that long, uh, what happens is you've died at middle age because the telomer units, which are the biological indicator of how young or how old you are, and not how long you've lived, um, they are counted. And so the key to, to uh, living for a, a long time is a combination. Number one, if you can rebuild the telomeres so they can go on and on indefinitely, like you're re you would keep the rubber band rewound some way on, in that airplane, if you have that rewound in your stem cells, then the other factor is how efficient can the stem cells be? And stem cells wear out. Uh, when they take in glucose, that's sugar. It's like gasoline in an engine. It's the energy source. And you oxidize gasoline in the engine. You do it with a spark and it ignites, explodes, and it creates energy which runs everything, air conditioning, radios that propels the car down the road, all of those types of things from the energy that's released from oxidizing glucose. Well, that's the same principle within stem cells if, uh, from oxidizing, excuse me, gasoline in the car. And it's the same principle with stem cells. When you oxidize glucose in the cell, it takes in oxygen, it takes in glucose, that's the fuel source, and ignites it with a spark, actually, they found. And now there's an energy that's released from that. That energy that is released in a stem cell or other cells they produce is the same. And it goes through that cycle to do it. But stem cells are critical because they're replacing cells that are, have a limited lifespan. For instance, um, uh, skin cells, they'll live from about 30 to 120 days, depending on your age, and then they're gone. Uh, but things like in the heart and the liver, or they can live for three or four years uh, uh, before they're, they're gone. So stem cells have different rates and speeds of, of, uh, of uh, duplication. But the cells that they make also are mirrors of what the stem cell is, and so it they go out and they function, but you're producing less of them and your body size is going down, your functionality is going down, all of those things. But now what they found is as they 
science progressed enough, they found the mechanism uh, that uh, creates the energy within stem cells. And we're, we're the body electric. Our body runs on electricity. So how do we get electricity? Well, we get it. It's a complex thing, but it all comes from hydrogen coming from the sun. Hydrogen from the sun in solar energy comes down. It strikes plants who convert it into uh, chemical energy. So solar energy is converted to chemical energy. Now there's different wavelengths uh, of light that are in there that do different functions, but basically the energy that is in plants that, uh, that makes them grow in, in animals that eat plants or animals that eat animals, as that goes, that all is uh, the solar radiation, the hydrogen in solar radiation converted into a form of chemical energy. And as Einstein said, uh, energy can't be destroyed. It can be changed or altered, but it can never be destroyed. It can go from one form to another. And that's really true. So that's what's happened with hydrogen. Then within the body, hydrogen is used in, in a multitude of ways in this chemical energy. But when it gets into the stem cells, uh, it takes in glucose, which has got hydrogen uh, energy within. It's carbohydrate uh, with it. It's like your carbohydrate, sugar, actually. So with it, it has the hydrogen molecule there. Through the process, they take that off and it takes it off within it, and it, it uh, starts to take the uh, energy from the hydrogen originally comes from the sun. All life depends on the sun. Uh, and it takes it and then it converts it to where you increase. And some of you people uh, will know what ATP is. That's the uh, made by the mitochondria. They're the little engines within the cell. And so what it does is it increases large amounts of ATP production. And what's in ATP? Hydrogen again. So then it goes through the rest of the cycles. And it's called a Krebs cycle. There's about 30 steps in it. And so then it gets down to a point where it releases hydrogen. And we call it biological hydrogen. Because that hydrogen is the same as the hydrogen that came from the sun. But now because it's within the stem cell or the other cells in the body, that biological hydrogen is then converted into the electrical energy that runs our body. And that's the way the mechanism goes. So they also found out when you could increase that amount of hydrogen in a, in a particular form called uh, NAD is the abbreviation, and there's a plus with it because it has a positive charge with it. When you do that, then they found it within the stem cells, and this is only within the last year or a little longer, they found within the stem cells that it actually has the mechanism within it to overhaul itself, to rebuild itself. Even the mitochondria, which is, there are hundreds of them in every cell, producing that energy, they wear out because it's like your car engine wears out uh, and from friction, from oxidizing, from exploding that energy. It creates free radicals that are oxidizers, and they all wear out. Now they found out that they do have, the mitochondria have their own DNA. They can, you can produce more new ones. And also mitochondria can repair themselves. And now the rest of the mechanism that, well, mitochondria is part of a cell or a stem cell, both, uh, they found out that now the stem cell itself has a mechanism to repair the damage that has occurred to it. And this uh, NAD molecule makes that possible as it's converted from that form of chemical energy to another to another. And in doing so, uh, if a cell is uh, senescent, uh, it's not functioning, it's just dormant, a uh, lot like Doc much of the time, but just uh, sort of in neutral, not going anywhere or doing anything. So if it's uh, senescent, they can return it back to full activity. Uh, if it's uh, just sluggish and slow, they can turn it right back to full activity. And so now you have stem cells that in, are, can be in old animals, and they look at them. A stem cell looks a lot like an egg with the white and the yolk and around like that. But as it gets old, uh, the, the, uh, the whole structure of the stem cell, instead of being uh, round or ovalish, is now be, looks like a crinkled up piece of paper. It's, uh, and the nucleus itself, which is round within it, like the egg, egg yolk, it is the, uh, the yolk of the egg is also becomes all crinkled looking. And the white of the egg is just like there's a white within the cell, and it becomes yellowish, brownish, because it starts building up accumulated 
uh, waste, uh, cellular garbage, if you will, the leftovers from metabolism within the stem cells, and it takes in nutrients, and and uh, and with it, in its process, it produces either a new cell, uh, and out of that, not all the nutrients, uh, well, the nutrients are used as much as possible, but the waste and the byproducts from it is excreted from the cell. But some of them form large molecules, and they're too big to get out. Uh, and so when they can't get out of the cell, they start to accumulate. And that's like not changing your oil, and it builds up huge amounts of sludge in your engine until it ruins it. In science, they call it lipofusin. So you, even though you can overhaul the, the stem cell and you can uh, overhaul the mitochondria, if it's full of sem cellular sludge, uh, it makes it hard for metabolic processes to happen. Plus, it, the, the sludge can be toxic, especially a free radicals. So if we're going to overhaul the stem cell and get it functioning like it's younger, then we better drain the oil. And that's uh, get rid of that, uh, that lipofusion, that cellular sludge. And so we've designed a system in it that science is showing. Now, we can't say our product has done all these things because it hasn't been tested that way because it would well, cost probably several billion dollars to get all the tests done and take about 15 years. And you don't want to wait. But the individual ingredients have been tested. So we're allowed to tell you what individual ingredients can. And then out of that, you can, de you can deduce what you think uh, the, the ultimate consequence of it is. So now what we can do is those large uh, molecules that build up in the cellular sludge, well, they can be broken down with enzymes. And there are some special types of nutrients, if you take them, will uh, create the types of enzyme, or the, the cell does it. It creates a type of enzymes, if that proper nutrient's there, that breaks down those very large molecules that are too big to go down the drain, so to speak, and it breaks it down into small sized particles. And then there's compounds within the stem cell uh, where the, the opening, the pores that for which the waste can be excreted and they can be dilated. So uh, they can take more material out and larger size molecules out too. So you can see when you're talking about dealing with the stem cells, it's a lot more intricate than what you think rather than just stimulating the stem cells because you got to overhaul it, you got to repair it, you got to drain the cellular slides. And then the other ha thing that happens is you accumulate a plaque from oxidizing glucose. It's like plaque on your teeth. Um, it's the same thing and that oxidized uh, glucose, or glucose oxidize, oxidation is, uh, accumulates on coats proteins. So it's sort of like putting a piece of saran wrap on something to where uh, oxygen or anything can't get through to it. So a lot of the protein uh, based systems and including that even uh, that is around the nucleus start getting placked up with this glycation, as they call it. And so that's a big problem. And if you're gonna make everything work, if you got oxygen, energy, nutrients, everything going in, if you overhaul the sale and it can't get through the places it needs to function, you need to get rid of the plaque. And so there's a whole chemistry uh, which removes, uh, it's called, that's why we get the word AGE, it's in it's advanced glycation endoproducts. And you don't necessarily need to know all that, but it's uh, it for removing the plaque. So the system has the ability to remove the plaque. It just takes the right types of, of nutrients to make it happen. It's like if you put diesel in your gasoline tank, it doesn't run good. You put gas in your uh, diesel tank, it doesn't run good. If it's, if it's pure, it doesn't run. So it's the same kind of thing too. The right type of nutrients will, will create the right kind of reactions within it. So we have put in the right kind of uh, ingredients to support uh, the stem cell's ability to it to remove these uh, the plaque the, the that is built up from glucose. We put the right kinds of ingredients in to cre uh, support the cell to produce the enzymes that break down very large molecules into small particles. We've also provided the ones that help the the stem cells the membrane to uh, to dilate to remove and discharge the waste. Now, if we've repaired it all and the cell starts to pump itself up and it goes from that crinkle up cell to where it's in, it becomes in all the animal studies and now what they're seeing in humans uh, studies are indicating that it looks like the same thing's happening is the stem cells which are old and not functioning or slowly functioning now become indistinguishable from young cells in size, shape and functionality. And in addition to that, they, they also found out the stem cells 
uh, where they die off and, and that is they're gone, there actually are some ingredients that can be done that go in that will support uh, your body or your system's ability to create more new stem cells. So you repair the old ones, you take the ones that are dormant, make them active, uh, you overhaul the ones that are deteriorating and make them fully active, and you create more new ones that have been lost and perhaps more new ones than you, you even had before, <coughs> what have you got? You got uh, stem cells a go-go, and they just start going and producing more and more cells, and you start, what happens with that? If they're functioning better, then suddenly you find out you're like a child again because you're getting this huge amount of energy that children have, uh, at least to a large degree of it, and you start feeling strength, stamina, energy, all of that. And then the body starts to produce more cells than it's losing. So if aging is decay and degeneration, and, and if we remove the decayed material and we repair, uh, uh, there, if the stem cells remove it, and if they repair themselves and regenerate and create more new ones, and now you have fuel sources that come into it that, at, uh, that accelerate the duplication rate of the stem cell, you've, you're now gone from degeneration to regeneration. You're making more cells than you're losing. <coughs> what does that mean? That means you start growing younger. That means organ size and all those things start to return. This is through all the animal studies and the ingredients start to return to their normal size, shape, and function. And if you remove the toxins that end the decay, or, in, or if, if you're producing a lot of ingredients uh, or taking a supplement such as Spectrumax with it in particular, that neutralizes all of the decay, the only two factors that are, that are really involved in aging is decay and degeneration. You end the decay and you create regeneration. Now you've got the body perfect, so to speak, which is the body electric. Uh, all that potential is there, and it lies within the complexity of the formulation that is the age pill. When you combine that with something like TSX to re rewind the telomeres, and if you have a product like Spectromax to get all of the free radicals that are uh, the oxidizers that are occurring, uh, you're going to be a new you. Now, there's other things you can add to it if you have problems of one kind or another. I think. You know, you're getting over the age of 40, you need brain vitality. Uh, it does so much for it. I won't go into that for detail, but that's, then you can start working on specific things uh, from joints. And then we have something like sizzle rip and the ingredients that, that are set in it uh, built muscle without exercise. But if you did exercise, it would build it twice as fast. Recovery would be three times as fast. And you could exercise at about 20% higher level. And then you have four restore. It does even more than that and so many other things. So you can take these individual products for what you want. There's energy for her and him uh, have specific uh, th things. Uh, calcium K2 for bones and joints, a uh, renovator uh, for arthritis and things of that nature. All those can be added on, but if you haven't got the stem cells producing what they should be doing, you have effectiveness, but it's not nearly maximized. So I believe that the age pill puts everything in warp drive and it maximizes itself. And it's all like suddenly that old engine that's been chugging along, what, ready to break down, suddenly is overhauled like a new engine, if you can think it that way, and you have the best fuel and you can put the pedal to the metal. And this time you just rip off and keep going and going. And if it keeps self-repairing, self-cleaning, doing all that, avoiding glycation, you're going to be a new you, but the new you you're going to be is the old you that you used to be because you'll be going now backwards in time. So now as time goes on, it's only a number. The real, the real thing that matters is your biological age, your physical condition, how young are you? And if you have ended decay and you are regenerating, what does that mean? Regeneration means regeneration, and you are going back in time biologically, and that's what it showed. And in old animals and all types of mammal species that they were testing, old animals that were decrepit, that had poor eyesight, a brain size, heart, lungs, all of that that had deteriorated and shrunk 20, up sometimes 25, 30 percent, all returned to like it was young. Hair that had gone gray came white. Uh, the skin. Uh, that was old and, and flaky, become new and young, eyesight improved, hearing improved, uh, muscle uh, size, uh, coordination, speed, everything, uh, all improved. And the fact is they took 
animals that were older that were getting at the point of death in some mouse studies, and they put them on uh, one, one of these ingredients that was that's in our uh, age pill, and they could outperform the animals that were young animals with it. They put them on a treadmill, they'd go further. The others were, the young animals were all wore out. The only difference was it was added to their to their diet. So they could go at a higher level and, and go a lot longer. In fact, it's over twice as long without fatiguing because of that. So that's the ability that's in these products. But as the English say in a, in a saying, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And so uh, it can sound good, but if you, t if you eat it and it tastes bad, then what do you have? And what, what, so the H pill, it's self-evident. You take it, it, we just recommend you double up for two months. That, that takes so much deterioration and really gives you a surge of it so that you can get uh, it back function where it should be better, quicker, and you'll have a better response and you go into your maintenance dose. But it's not a maintenance dose because what you're doing is you're supporting the systems that increase regeneration. Uh, you're cleaning up the cells. You're allowing the cells to repair themselves uh, to create more energy. And, uh, and you have no decay to, uh, if you end the decay so it's not oxidizing like steel rust, what have you got? Well, you've got uh, what, potentially? Youth that could last 150 years, 200 years, who knows? But we're on that track, and I think it's very, theoretically, uh, it's it's a theory right now because nobody's lived to be, well, there was. There's a couple of Chinese that lived over 240 years, and one of the main states of their ingredients is what was used in TSX and also that what is used in the age pill. And so they knew that, that a long time. They lived, One lived 239 years, one lived 246 years. I have a picture of the one that lived 246, and uh, he looks like it. He looks a lot like uh, Doc Fizz did before he started on these products. He was really deteriorated and degenerated. But with that, we have the potential within all of us to be young again. Now, how old are you? Are you 50? Would you like to be 30? Are you 60? Would you like to be 30 or 40? Are you 70? Would you like to be 40? And would you like to be 40 till you when you were 120 or 150 years old? That's a possibility to consider now because uh, all the rules have changed because of these discoveries that have been made. So here we are at the cutting edge of it. No one has done anything like this that we're doing. And we have got the science, this technology, and the, these, you see what's coming in from people and photos and everything else that's happening. Even people that have serious afflictions, they're, they're real health damaging and, and life threatening, uh, suddenly they start getting better. Uh, and why are they getting better? Because the body is regenerating now. Instead of degenerating and becoming worse and worse, now it's regenerating, becoming better and better. And that's the idea behind it. So we have the single greatest product discovered in the history of human health. This exceeds anything in medicine, in my opinion, and anything in dietary supplements. There, there's nothing that comes close to this. And our formulation is not a single ingredient. There is a single ingredient, and a couple of products are using it, but they use minimal amounts. We use a maximum amount. We support the body to produce it itself rather than just add it to it so we can have more in, intercellular production of, of these uh, essential compounds that are so necessary for regeneration and repair and all of that. So we have a product that is beyond compare. The results are stunning. Uh, the fountain of youth is here, but it's a molecule. It's not a mythical water and you've got it right in your hands, and it's the business building opportunity of a lifetime. This is the really big one. And I'll tell you what, we are growing here in the United States right now very, very fast, and it's just hitting Australia, just hitting Europe, and, and just gonna be introduced this month into Japan. And you can imagine how they're gonna explode with this. Europe's starting to take off, they had a little bit quicker with it, but this is, this is the big one you've waited for. So don't sit there and watch this one go by or you'll be saying, man, I was there when that ha happened. This is the really big one and I didn't do anything about it. This is the one you need to put everything you have in it because you really don't have any competition or any effective competition and the results are what everyone's looking for. You can create tremendous health, wealth and, and happiness with a product like this and some of the others that you add to it for what your specific needs are, and you can become just what you want to be every single day. You wake up younger 
and younger and younger and younger and keep going that direction. And within weeks for most people, uh, they're feeling it because the overall uh, product has been able to work on the existing stem cells and they're improving. You're getting more energy, you're getting more nutrients and you're cleaning it up. You're doing regeneration and you get so much more energy being produced, even though the cells may not be back to where they're going to be, but they've improved so much. The energy jump is so great for you and the stamina and the strength and all that starts to happen that you know it's working. The proof of the pudding is in the eating and this one tastes great because of what it can do. So anyway, that's my message for you for today. I've gone on a bit along with it, but this is, uh, this is the most dynamic product in my life I've ever seen. I've been in this industry and business for a long time, many decades, and I've never seen, nothing's ever come close to this, and we've got it, and you have no competition. So get your rear in gear. This is time to really make it happen for you, and I'll turn the time back over to you. Well, Tom, thanks, and you know, I, I, I just got to say this. I mean, isn't, aren't the results just even ex exceeding your expectations of what, of what you thought it would do? Well, I, I'll tell you, yes, you're absolutely right. I, when I started taking this, um, I didn't expect such a fast response. Now, um, now I'm seeing things that my eyesight, I threw all my, my eyesight. I, I've never done with that. I've been hitting myself. I haven't been hitting myself in the head with a hammer, but now all the cheaters I had where my vision was, I, I've given those to all the people that need them because I don't need them. Uh, I, I never have to worry about eyeglasses again because my, my vision is, uh, it was tested. It was, it was about 2060, 2080. It was getting there and now it's 2020. And, uh, wow. and nothing, nothing magical happened. I just bought some hearing aids because my, I shot a lot of guns in my life and things like that. And of course, I'm, I'm like Doc. I was a very good shot. So there was a lot of encouragement for me to, to do shooting, but your ears take a pounding with that. And, uh, I'd gotten to the point where I couldn't hear a lot of conversations and things. And so I went in, I had, uh, you talk about a rare a rip off. That's those little teeny earplugs that cost maybe, 20 or 30 bucks to make and they charge you four thousand dollars and that's what i bought about the best one that was there so it could be in water and all that and i realized but they're that's the way the market is they're just taking advantage of the people on that but i put it in and and adjusted them took a few adjustments first time if you're not adjusted right the first time you flush the toilet it sounds like uh, noah's flood is coming so you get them adjusted <laughs> down but i i had them adjusted right and then suddenly I didn't even, I'd take them out and I started hearing better. It wasn't suddenly, it took, took me probably, oh, five or six months. But now I don't, I, the, the, all they are is this expensive memorabilia. They were brand new and now they're just sitting in a box. I'm never gonna need them because I hear really well now. My eyesight is, is great. My muscle mass is increasing. Uh, I, I, I don't really exercise. I'm, working so much at this and so there's a deterioration going but now I look at it and muscle size is coming back I'm burning I'm I can eat more and I'm, I'm not I'm losing weight I'm not gaining weight because I'm burning so many more calories with my body regenerating uh, my hair color I was getting some gray in it and I still have some gray but it's I don't know how much of it's gone what what gray I had is probably 75 percent gone it wasn't all gray but I had enough but now it's uh, it's the other way. It's mostly dark and getting better and better. And people I just had today, a, a woman just took my hand. She said, you have got the nicest, softest skin. And who, well, guys, who's ever said that to you, you know, with it? But uh, I am now, and, and people, I shake hands, and a woman say, oh, your hands, your skin is so nice. What have you been doing? Well, I'm not even putting the lotions on. Uh, and I'm not, you know, that diligent like I should be, but why should I? My skin's like I'm, it's getting to be like when I was in my teens again with that. So do I believe in it? Does it work? <laughs> I'd be an absolute liar if I said I don't know or I, I'm not sure. I'm absolutely sure. And uh, when I, I can see 2020, yeah, I know it's working. When I can hear now without the hearing aids, yeah, I know it's working. When I see all these other things happening to me, it's working. This product works. This isn't hype. This is reality, and boy, we've got it like no other company. Yeah, you know, Tom, I'll tell you, when I came out there in October and went and did some deer hunting out there, and I saw how, how younger you look, I mean, for everybody that's on the call right now, I mean, he's, he's not kidding you at all. 
from from the six months from previously when I'd seen him till then, total change. His hair color, I mean, just the skin tone, the the, the elasticity of the skin, everything had just had just radically changed, and and, and that was amazing. Um, you know, Tom, I, I do have to tell you this. My my mom, um, when I was down in Australia, she broke her hip. And she'd been walking around on a broken hip for, for four weeks. It was actually uh, not, a, not a simple fracture. It was actually displaced by about an inch. And the orthopedic guy, he just looked at me. And he said, I don't know what your mom's doing. But he said, most people, I don't care what age they would have been. He said, they would have been screaming in pain. And he said, normally, um, by having, by having that, that broken femur uh, neck just scratching away inside the, the gluteal muscles, he said, that, that would have just ripped most people up. He said after a month of walking on it, he said there was absolutely no scar tissue in there. Um, he went back in and, and she was off the painkillers in two days. And uh, this morning she's walking up and down the hall. It's been a week now. She's walking up and down the hall in, in the hospital. And, and everybody's just like, holy cow, you're, you're responded faster than anybody. And she's, uh, she's going to turn 79 this year. Isn't that Fantastic. Something? Yeah, yeah. And, and she's not going to turn 79. She's going to live 79 years. She's going to turn younger this year. Exactly. So she's she's really excited about it. Her doctor had to get research from me on everything. And, and so it's, uh, I mean, it's not just like, like regular people noticing this. It's doctors that are saying, holy cow, what are you doing different? So I, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you got another meeting you got to get to. And uh, thanks for taking the time and jumping on this call with us. Uh, and Tom, uh, we're just everybody's so happy that you that you're you're bringing us these kind of products. Thank you. You're welcome, and thank you. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'll get this recording done. I'll get it posted up and and get it out to everybody. And if you go to the Sizzle World Team channel on on YouTube, you'll find it posted there. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Tom.